welcome to Goa Gaja. All right, this is known as the elephant cave here on Bali Island and the particular city is called Ubud. The place is about three kilometers away from the city center and I took uh, a grab taxi they use uh, an app for transportation that is similar to uber is they call it grab my oh, ticket is there thank you so let's go get the ticket okay i got the ticket and now let's find the entrance the itinerary for today is to visit three places and this happens to be the first one the second one is a famous rise terrace and then after that will be a beautiful temple that is a little bit far from here hello hello ticket yeah, and you need wear, sorry. No, thank you. You need wear. Yeah, you have I a have short to? pen. Yeah. Oh, okay. If you have long pen, it's okay. All right, that will be very interesting. Okay. Because I'm wearing uh, shorts, yes. that's why? Yes. Ah, yeah. okay, thank you. you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Can you see it right here? I mean, I. Uh, they don't allow shorts. And I am wearing shorts because it's too hot and humid. So why did I choose this uh, place first to visit? Because the uh, I asked uh, Chat GPT. I plugged in the names of the places that I want to visit, and I asked in which order should I visit the sites that I am interested in. To, re to reduce travel time to make my itinerary more efficient time-wise and uh, it gave me this uh, suggestion that I should visit this one first and this place is a uh, part of a, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it dates back to year 2000 no dates back to the 9th century I should say But where is the cave? Even though it's called an elephant cave, there is no elephant actually. And the name derived from... No, thank you. Thank you. The name derived from in the elephant river that is nearby. And also from the... Uh, from what I forgot I think from the <laughs> God name Ganesh I think it's uh, depicted uh, in the uh, as the uh, elephant head but, but where is the cave now I think the cave is there They have tours, they offer tours, but I'm not interested in tours. Okay. Can I? Yes. Here is the uh, cave. Right there, it's too dark. Oh my goodness.
Okay, it's too dark. Uh, it's too dark inside. I just got out. But it looks like it's uh, a famous uh, spot to take uh, a photo right there. You see? So I, the, um, I said earlier that despite being called the elephant cave, there are no elephants at the site. The name is thought to derive from the nearby elephant river or from the Hindu god Ganesh. Okay, now I remember Hindu god Ganesh, who is depicted with an elephant's head. So earlier I messed up the uh, the sentence. I did not come up with the right uh, word because I lost the name of the Hindu god. Let's keep walking. I really need to take a picture with the with what I am wearing right here, you see? These are two cutting pools with fountains which were excavated in 1954 and they are believed to date back to the 11th century. Wow, the, the whole place is uh, a famous historic site. And what else now? other than the uh, the cave and the the three pools what else should we see we'll just wander through and I'm not planning to spend uh, that much time here because I do need to go to that beautiful rice terrace that you will see next. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. They are offering their stuff to sell. Buddha temple. See, in addition to Hindu elements, there are also Buddha, Buddhist elements at this site. So both Hindus, Hinduism and Buddhism together. It reminds me of some of the places in Japan that I visited. They have both elements of two religion. Wow, look at that. It's really beautiful. It really is. I everywhere I look, up, down, left, right, everywhere is beautiful. Hi. Everywhere is beautiful. And all these big trees are blocking the the sun. It's very nice when you visit the uh, a beautiful place such as this one. 
when the weather is very very beautiful no rain no wind and the uh, temperature is not that bad is about uh, 75 degrees Fahrenheit and that's about what uh, 24 Celsius I think but it feels a little bit actually hotter than 75 degrees Fahrenheit because of the humidity and that's why I wear very light uh, clothes t-shirt and uh, shorts no long pants Oh yeah, yeah. Am, I, am I allowed to step in? See, for some reason, people don't um, explore these uh, small buildings. Most of them go to the cave and they jump to the next site because of they have limited time, I guess, to explore the beautiful island of Bali Wow, this is another pool right here And the trail goes all the way all the way up there I'm not quite sure where where it's gonna take me but I just need to get a glimpse of it as I said I'm trying to visit two three sites and they're not that close to each other so most likely I'm gonna spend most of my time in uh, traffic tr trying to get to the to the other site important UNESCO World Heritage Site that you will see shortly. It's time to go to the next site. Let's go.
All right, I found my way to Tegalalang Rice Terrace. It's about 10 kilometers north of Ubud in Bali. And there seems to be a lot of uh, activities up there. I, I don't think I have the gut to do um, that swing due to my vertigo issue. I don't want to get dizzy. But the whole area is stunning. And I think it's part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site, if I am not mistaken. And it dates back to the 8th century. So it's pretty much, uh, they used uh, the traditional Balinese cooperative irrigation system known as Subak. Which dates to the 11th century as I mentioned before. But I am gonna keep... Hello, uh, yeah climbing down hiking down I should say to that beautiful statue but let me let the lady pass uh, okay the lady behind me is trying to take a photo she was following me I thought I said what's going on but it turned out that she is trying to take a photo And definitely this uh, will be uh, one of the top places here in uh, in Bali when you do your research as far as the uh, places you want to visit I have to be very careful here is very narrow uh, trail and out of the sudden now the whole trail is to myself but I'm trying to get to that beautiful statue right there and I can get to the other side there is a beautiful cafe I think we will get there all right that gentleman is trying to take a photo and I guess I'm gonna ruin their photo up I guess I have no patience to wait because I waited actually for almost five minutes and they don't seem to be willing to leave the area so I said okay I'm not gonna wait anymore sorry okay you know some uh, some people they take forever to take uh, to take a photo even though they, they don't give other people chance to take photos they think that the whole place is theirs I mean five minutes that's long enough to occupy the whole area and I'm not the only one who lost patience by the way those people who crossed the bridge they lost patience as well they were waiting for them for over five minutes they actually waited longer than me so we lost patience and we sneaked through uh, his picture and the uh, the journey to get here by uh, grab taxi grab ride took me about 20 minutes from the location where I was situated earlier Let's keep going up. this bridge but I don't think uh, I'm gonna trust this bridge 
I don't know if it's strong enough or maintained. I'm not gonna take the risk, but it looks uh, very nice photo opportunity. We will keep going. All right, now this area seems to be not crowded at all. They have a public toilet that is, doesn't look clean to me. But the, uh, the high continues all the way up, but I'm not willing to hike up there. Or maybe I will just hike a little bit and see what's going on up there. see a small building maybe this is what a resting area I don't know oh yeah yeah it took me to another part of the town this is what now a hotel is this a hotel no. what is this rice terrace. rice terrace okay I entered through the the other gate the other side so this is over this is or there is more to the, to walk this way this way okay thank you okay I guess I explore the whole area I guess I'm gonna go grab something to eat and then on to the to the third destination that I am trying to visit Thank you. Alright, this is a beautiful famous temple. It's called Terta Impul and basically it was built in 1962 AD and it has a lot of purification pools that I will go through and it's about 20 kilometers north of uh, Ubud Holy Spring Temple. So Terta Empo means holy water spring. Okay, I'm gonna have to wear these things again. All right, look at the dress right here. I have to wear it because I'm wearing shorts and almost everybody is doing the same. So where is the holy water spring? 
that's the primary purpose of visiting this temple. Pura Tirta Temple, right there, that's the name. <laughs> and here we go. Here is the hot water spring. I'm really tempted to do this, it's awesome. It's good to experience it. The temple is dedicated to Vishnu, the Hindu god of water. Let's see this uh, <coughs> section of the temple. I already explored the main area which is the uh, purification pools and that's what the, this temple is famous for I think I, exp I explored a lot today and I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna squeeze in another location another destination today or not but definitely I will visit a lot of sites uh, in the next uh, few days and now I am on my uh, way out and I see this uh, market mini market small shops right there and I said okay let's uh, turn on the camera and capture some of it <laughs> oh wow it's huge market I thought it's only uh, a small market on the way out but it doesn't look like it <laughs> this reminds me of uh, a city called Oyan Taitambu 
a village, I should say, in uh, Peru. So many places in this world have uh, almost similar settings, even though they are totally in different continents. Peru is in uh, South America and, uh, and Indonesia in Southeast Asia. But uh, I only see slight v variations and the people are almost everywhere are nice and uh, almost 99% of the world population is nice and decent and only 1% that is bad that's what I uh, excuse me that's what I uh, observed over the course of my travel years almost in every single country I have been treated very well with respect wow it's really amazing Ubud is actually uh, famous for art. Okay. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, good, I'm good. Fine. fine. I'm China. Huh? <laughs> what? No, no. What no. did you say? <laughs> no. Say it again. No problem. Say it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have no idea what he said, to be quite honest with you. But I don't want to. Uh, embarrass him. I mean, some some people get a little bit uh, shy and embarrassed when uh, they don't uh, pronounce the word properly. And a lot of people actually do know English. They do um, know English, but they are shy that they might pronounce it wrong. And I noticed that actually in Japan and South Korea. Okay, now where is the... Uh, now I'm gonna have to grab a taxi ride. I use uh, an app called Grab, G-R-A-B. That's what they use in most countries in Southeast Asia. And it's better to use it, it's more safe and everything is monitored. And the and you don't use cash you it's linked to the to the credit card and they have a public toilet right there hello no I'm fine thank you see before I uh, end the video the um, the place takes uh, I want to share useful tip the place takes only cash but here is the trick they I think they purposely put an ATM machine just next to the next to the ticket office right here but the reason that that I want to bring it up is that uh, it's not actually safe to um, to use an ATM machine that is not inside a bank building and I talked about this subject many many times in my previous uh, videos so come here prepare I would not suggest you, you, you use these kind of uh, ATMs even if it's from a, a reputable bank if it's not inside a bank building you don't know what um, that machine um, who, who actually in, installed it and who is monitoring it and whether they installed shady stuff to clone your card I always go to the actual bank building and withdraw cash from the ATM that is inside the bank Well, 
welcome to Tiganangan waterfall okay that's the waterfall that I am trying to visit it looks like I'm gonna have to walk through a beautiful village right here along along the way first I need to buy a ticket hello ticket one person yes, 30,000 30, okay thank you all right 30,000 rupiah so as at the time of filming the uh, uh, 16,331 rupiah is about one US dollar one USD so am I walking now through a market or or through a waterfall the goal is to go to the waterfall not not to go to a market but we will see where it's gonna take me so 30,000 rupiah that's about I would say not even two US dollar Indonesia is definitely a good uh, budget destination to visit all right where are you waterfall maybe this is the waterfall Maybe this is one of the, uh, the viewpoints, one of the viewing platform. But I would like to, I would like to get closer to the, to it if it's possible. And it's located about ten kilometer from uh, Ubud. Yeah, definitely, it's gotta be a way to get to get there but there is some kind of a suspension bridge up there as well but I like that area I would like to get I would like to get down there and check it out I don't think my mom wants to see one yeah there is a temple there is a temple goes this way and uh, and a waterfall is this way but I'm gonna go to the temple first let's let's check out the temple first and then we will get to the waterfall all right I get to the temple which is not that far from the waterfall and I got to this uh, location to be a little bit away from the uh, tourists most people go to the waterfall right there and I will get there but I need to explore this uh, this area first because it looks very nice to me and what is this now? Wow, it's amazing right here. A lot of things going on. There are some cafeterias up there. They uh, play loud music though.
I'm getting closer to the waterfall. There we go. Good vibes. I'm not sure if I can hike down, I think. I'm gonna go down there, but I need to wait for people to, to get there. Let's go. I made it. What is this now? This is what uh, changing room. Okay. All right. I need to walk on this log here. Look at that. It's beautiful. There is also a suspension bridge right there. This is the perfect photo opportunity from here. I need to wait for this lady. Oops, more people. Let's go. All right, gotta wait, man. You know, I try to be a little bit polite, but some people, they don't understand the concept of waiting in line. There is no queue, so to speak. All right, there is a swing here. Okay, I made it to the main platform right here. Wow, it's beautiful. Hi, photo for you? Yeah. Okay, Thank one minute. You. See, this is a uh a video, it's a video recording. Can you just hold it like this? Like here, like that. Oh, just, just hold it like this. All right, it's the waterfall. All right, that's good. All right, now I'm gonna go to this suspension bridge right there. Let's do it. Oh, so this is another ticket then? Yeah. Okay. That's where, that's where the suspension bridge is? Bridge, yeah, you can pass from there. Okay, and how much? Uh, for a bridge, 250, 1%. 150? 250. To get to the bridge? Yeah. Oh, why? Why so expensive? Uh, because uh, owner <laughs> from China. Huh? Honor from time. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, 250, 250 uh, rupiah is a little bit uh, expensive. 250,000 rupiah. But the goal is to walk the bridge, the suspension bridge. And that is actually free to walk. But I have to get to the other side from the parking lot. So it's kind of a little bit a rip off to charge people extra from this side. No, no, no. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.
was trying to find the bridge that suspension bridge and I thought it's free if I walk all the way on the other side but it's not free it's 250,000 rupiah that's about 22 US dollars and I find it to be a little bit expensive 22 US dollars just to walk on the bridge so I decided to walk through the uh, the village instead because I see beautiful uh, beautiful um, buildings right here I'm not quite sure if I am allowed to get in or or not but it's worth the uh, to check it out and I will uh, I'm gonna wrap up the video here anyway but the dog doesn't like me for some reason and uh, 22 US dollars uh, to visit a site in uh, Indonesia seems to be uh, overpriced I see those kind of prices in Western Europe but I don't expect to see that here in Indonesia given that uh, it's a very uh, cheap country to visit you can get a nice uh, dinner meal at a nice restaurant for just uh, five US dollar so 22 US dollars just to walk on a bridge that's about worth uh, five beautiful dinners and this is what now uh, a temple right there wow is it okay if I walk inside okay okay all right just need to to ask for permission that guy is a maintenance guy I'm not quite sure if I ask the right person or not but now look uh, uh, I mean uh, it's very quiet area out of the southern I don't see any any people here I don't even know what temple this is it's very quite uh, nice uh, village here but I really have to be a little bit uh, careful uh, about span stepping into uh, these buildings they might be uh, private uh, homes but I just like to capture some footage of this uh, village and check it out as opposed to filming just uh, touristy areas yeah this is a private home villa right there 